Uh, hello guys, my name is Kauton. Today I'm going to take you through on how to process a drone imagery using uh, Pix uh, 4D Mapper. So what we need is the folder with our images from our drone. In this case we are using DJI Phantom 4. Then our ground control points which is our GCPs. Then after having this you can then go to your a Pix4D, then you open a new project, a, you name uh, any name that you want to give the, to the project. In this case, we are going to say Pix4D, that will be our uh, the name of our folder. Then we have to browse in, into our, the folder that you want to use. In this case, we want to use this folder which is written Pix4. Uh, then you say select the folder they need to ask you to create a new project that's correct then we just say next from here it will ask you to add at least uh, three images or more either you can add uh, images uh, one by one using this you can just select every image until you finish then you just say open or you can add a directory like this I want this one then just say choose we know our my images are in 100 media here then you just say choose a hey, sorry then you just choose as you can see these are our images even if you want to add other images you just add here then you select next then it will ask you the datum that you want to use and uh, this is the data that uh, the pictures come with then you just say next use as you can see we have the latitude the longitude and the altitude then just press next now here is the tricky part you have to select uh it auto detects uh whatever coordinate system that uh is there but in this case we want to use a non coordinate system then you say advanced you come here then you say either from new list or from projection then ours is from list you want to change the datum to arc 1950 so you select uh, the datum that you want to use uh, it now depends with your GCPs uh, and uh, where you want to use the information so we have arc 1950 and you want it to be in a uh, UTM a is on 36 like this then you say apply then you press next then from here it should be it should you give you a window like this now depending on what you want to use the data for in this case you want to do a uh, 3d maps so you select 3d maps it will give you the output that yeah, it can give then you can either I leave it uh, like this then you just say finish it will start processing or you can untick this then you go to finish it will give you something like this then you need to select uh, the processing that you want in this case for the exercise that I want to do I don't need the DSM and the auto mosaic so I will just untick that initial process point uh, cloud and mesh we want that then you just say start if you want a DSM and the auto mosaic, tick here so that it can uh, do all the processes. So in this case, I just want this. Then I'll just say press start. As you can see, to start uh, processing the data in computing, so it will take uh, some few minutes or even an hour or so, depending on your computer and also depending on uh, how much the data is okay now after finishing uh, some of the processes it will give you a quality report like this one you can then check it out and see what you want and if it's okay everything for me is like this so everything for me it looks fine i don't have any problems with this so i'll just say close then I'll actually wait for the other information. 
uh, the other process to finish. Finishing the processing, you again get the message. I just close it. Now from here, we have the cameras I, and everything. Here I wanted to, to view it on top view, like this. Then I can switch off the cameras and then the rays. So what I want to do now is to add some GCPs. So you come here to project, then it asks you uh, manage GCP manager. Then I say import. This is the coding system that I want for the GCPs. You can go to edit. Again, a non coordinate system. Remember, I want Act 1950 zone, uh, UTM zone 36S. If it's not there, you just go to from list or uh, projection. Then you say OK. Then we import. This is an X, Y, uh, Z uh, coordinate order. Then here you select the the Excel file or the comma limited file that you have it, the CSV file. Then you say OK. Then OK. It will give you the X and the Y. Then you say OK. As you can see, it's giving now giving me the areas where the GCPs are, the ground control points. So now what I we have to do is click a ground control point like this. We can actually change the window. We now focusing more to this side. So it will ask you, it will tell you selection which is uh, GCP3, and this is what you are having. Then uh, we want uh, the images information. Sorry. We want this information more than the one on top. So from here, you select the image. You just go to the image that you want. Maybe you want this image, for example. And let me find an image that looks better. OK, this one. You can now zoom in or out. You can resize, which is 86. You can zoom in and out to find where the marker is. When you see the marker, you just uh, left click on the marker. Now, for the weight of the correction depends on the zoom level that you are having. The more you zoom inwards, the more the way the correction is the, for, for that point. So now I will just go to the next page, uh, next picture, which is this one. I will check my GCP. Here it is. I can zoom if I can see it properly. I can zoom it up to here. Then again, apply. Then go to the next one. The picture seems hazy, so I will skip it and go to the one that I see. Zoom in, then again click to the, the center. Do the same for this GCP. It's actually the same process. Then you just say apply. Go to the next GCP. Uh, the next one is this one. Then after applying, you can actually use automatic uh, marking. That means everything will be marked automatically after finishing. It will show you some deviation. If they are some, then you are just checking. Uh, do you want to save? Uh, do you like to save changes? Then yes. We saved the changes for all our GCPs. After doing so, you see this was the uh, original, and now this is the area where we moved it to. Again, then you just check if uh, your data looks clean enough for you to continue. Maybe you can select this one. Again, you see this one is not uh, okay. So you need to read again until you finish. So from there, after you finish, you can then come again to this uh, to processing. Then you select all processes, the ones that you want. Then you can say start processing. Again, this one will make uh, it will give you a warning like this. Then you just say OK. When it processes everything, it's now uh, moving everything to the correct position. Uh, remember this GCP, we didn't do anything about it. So 
for us to save time. Okay, after it has finished uh, processing, what you need to do now is to classify the point clouds. So you come here to process. As you can see, let me show you the point cloud. This is the point cloud. I can switch off uh, these rays and uh, tie points. So usually it won't be classified. This is the area of interest. So you come here to processes. Then you, when you are running a large, a larger data, you go to run point clouds classification. Then it will automatically detect uh, ground points, uh, road surfaces, high vegetation, buildings, human objects. It is made objects. After finishing processing uh, classification, you just say dismiss here. You see that we have now, now have the ground points. We have the road, uh, whatever it's detecting like roads, uh, high vegetation, ECT. So sometimes there are some points, for example, let me switch off uh, the surface and buildings. There are some points which are being picked as a uh, vegetation, whilst are uh, not vegetation, e.g. this area and this area. These are ground points. So what you do, you come here and then go to edit densified uh, point cloud. You, uh, you make the edit active then you select uh, where you want to put the edit we want the edit to be a ground uh, group so from there you just digitize the area that you you want just like this then when you finish you just right click to select the everything then you want to assign it to ground again there are some features like this area I know it's ground again you digitize the area, you digitize it, after finishing again, you right click, then you say assign to ground. If there is some area, some things that you want to assign to a different uh, thing, like uh, this one, I want to assign it to uh, buildings, so you just uh, go to edit again, zoom digitize it after finishing right click then you assign to whatever you want that's how you say assign then after assigning you have to end the edit just like by clicking it then you go to the next uh, step now you want to export the ground points or any other points you just come to the uh, to the uh, point cloud here then you just right click go to export then you select the you deselect what you don't want and uh, leave what you want in this case i want the ground points and the uh, road surface so i want an las maybe with the xyz uh maybe with a comma separator separator then you just browse to the folder that you want to save this in i want them to be saved in he, in here then i'll just say name them ground uh points then just save then from here you just say okay it will then export it will tell you the time that you will take to export then from there uh, it will give you a report like this then you just go to open folder as you can see these are my ground points which have been exported let me try to open this with a notepad just once you can then just use these uh, points to whatever software you, that you want to finish your processing in. Uh, these are your X and Y coordinates uh, and, and Z coordinates for the points. And this is an LAS uh, file. I hope you liked and enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. So, uh, depending, sometimes some people want the DXF, uh, DTM, sorry, and the DSM. Again, we had already processed the DSM. If you want to process a DTM, you come here, then you say generate DTM. This DTM is generated uh, from the ground points only. A DSF, a DSM, sorry, that's the one that includes everything. So from here, you just generate the DTM. As you can see, it's now generating. We are now at 20%. You can go to oh, Mosaic Editor check the DSM 
it's now up to you you just have to figure out some things on your own just go around experiment it's okay so it's now loading yes this is the mosaic then you can actually export this or save even the ttm it should have something like this you can now export okay you can export it as a t t file or draw the areas that you want from here then it will show you where it is exported to then you just follow the path then you are done